Hello, one and all present here. This is Amit Kumar Singh. Welcome everyone to my 20th session, guys. In this session, we're going to talk about line chart versus column chart. We'll try to draw two diagrams or we can say we try to draw two charts where one chart talks in the term of columns. Okay. And probably we'll draw another chart which talks in the term of line graph. So here, uh, I have already discussed about line chart, right? In my last class already, I have spoken about line chart. So whenever we talk about line chart, the kind of database, what we follow, like one of the database should be in the term of time or date time, data type, or the another, another, what you say, the another variable should be there in the form of measures. So whenever we want to draw a line chart, we normally use time series analysis. We normally use time series analysis while talking about time series analysis. We take one variable on the basis of time. So like, uh, here, if I take one variable on the basis of time, so we have as per the W, we have two parameters. If I see under dimensions, I have two parameters which follow date time or time data type. I have order date and I have ship date. Okay. So I'll take one of the variable or one of the axis as a order date. Okay. Or, or shipping date. Okay. And, and, and I'll take measure as a sales or, or profit or quantity or discount anything. So normally to draw the line chart, you know, the parameters, right? Already I have discussed about them in the previous class where one of the variable, what we consider, uh, the, that variable, the dimension, what I'm talking about, th those are discrete dimension and that discrete dimension should be there. That discrete dimension should be there in the form of date. Okay. And the another variable, what I'm talking about the dependent variable, this would be your independent variable. This would be your independent variable and the dependent variable can be any measure like sales, profit, anything it can be. Okay. And you know how to draw the line chart based on that. Okay. So whenever we talk about line chart, we need to understand that we are talking on the basis of time periods. So if I, if I talk about the sample superstore data, okay. So on that basis, if I see my dimensions, I have two kinds of dimensions. Either I can talk in the term of order date or I can talk in the term of ship date. Okay. So if I put my order date under column, okay. And if I put sales under row, you know that you'll get a line diagram. We already have spoken about them in the last class. Now, uh, already we discussed that if I see like you can see this, in, this is given in the four year time period. So you can see the sales figure around the four year time period how the sales of the company actually changed over the four year time period. These sales, if I put under levels, you can see the momentum of the change of the sales over the different time period. So when we do time series analysis, guys, in the time series analysis, we follow different methods in statistics. Either we follow moving average method, either I follow moving average method or I follow semi average method or I follow semi average method or we follow least count method or we follow least count method by using these methods. We try to anticipate the, the likely change in dependent variable over the change in the independent variable. The here, the independent variable is always the time period and that time period as per our question is represented by the date. Okay, everyone. So you can see the momentum of the change of of, of, of the sales of the company over this four year time period. Then, uh, if you want to make comparison region wise, okay. So you already, we have discussed about them. So in these four regions in the, around these years, what is the change in the sales figure already? We have spoken about them. So you know about them, you got this line diagram. If you want horizontal diagram or you want columnar diagram already, you know how to compare them, right? So just now I got the, I got the line chart. If you want bar chart, you want columnar representation that also you can get very easily region wise. So for you to compare would be very easy for us. Okay. So altogether analysis become very easy for us whenever we are discussing this.
so you can you can think in the term of line you can think in the term of column you can shift horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal all this is very convenient very conveniently we can do when when we are working on the basis when we are doing our analysis in the tableau same thing if i try to do in ms excel i need to draw pivot table i need to go to pivot chart okay i need to change my variables so gradually then the graph will change again i need to go and change the chart type so all together three four clicks i need to make more to get the same what i can get very easily when i am working on tableau so i hope this much everyone is clear about this much anyone have any doubt feel free to ask as many questions as you can so this sales the change in sales with respect to the time period you can do region wise you can discuss the same thing category wise you can discuss the same thing segment wise you can discuss the same thing on the basis of different segments like consumer corporate home office again you can make the comparison over this different time period okay at the same time uh, when you get the year wise also data you get the four year data like this if you click here these four years if you want if you want to further segregated for each year different quarters that also you can do it very easily here okay you know this right years and all those are discrete data while here sales represent your continuous data continuous data we can easily understand because it is in green in color and this is in dark blue in color you can easily understand that part very easily you can understand this okay very easily you can make an understanding among them okay so very easily you can see you can see the marks and all you can see four marks it represent these are discrete values that's why you can see this marks value okay you can more further segregation you can see all these values numerical values for them so if you want further you got month wise you can see the segregation month wise also you can do within the year so all this homework we can do very easily okay so doing then further month wise if you want day wise also that segregation also we can do so we can break further i i had the data in the year that i broke in the term of months then i can further broke those data in the term of days also so all that is possible here whenever we are working so all that is possible so here i got year wise then i got month wise then i got day wise you can see this fine so now i am putting the data here and then if i take the sales in the horizontal axis i got this as a graph so you got the line graph like this okay you can understand them you can make further analysis among them in region wise you can discuss among them uh, probably segment wise or category wise okay that is very easy for us now uh, for the year like if you see this years suppose i want for each year each month what i have shown you just now so i just shown you on the basis of of one axis okay now here i want to discuss in the term of two axis so i can go and click on this order date okay if i click on month so you can see this is the data for the 2016 only shown you month wise uh, from different months of 2016 you can see this line diagram again if i click again on month this is one more month first was this month then further if i go yeah so here you can see you first you got month wise there they shown only months then if you see the next month it will show month and year also so now you can see this so next four years 12 months means total 48 entries you can see a down that would be visible for you okay if you want you can change this mark to the bar okay now you get the same representation in the term of column chart now this if i click here if you see at the down you can see at the down i wanted the month visible right but at the down when i converted this into column when it was a line graph then it was not at all a problem in the line graph you again the line graph also it's a problem they are showing only the years i, I what i want i want it to show months no so which because the the objective is to see the data month wise right 
so if i see the month wise if i see here the month wise if i go and see the field month wise one minute so here if i go month of the order date if i click on format dates showing like this way the dates if i want i can make change sum of sales no i want month order date dates like this alignment showing automatic alignment total alignment here i can see automatic directions of on all these alignments you can see possibly here. So you just do right click here. Click on format. If you go under format, you can go here and click on format month order date. You can see pan here and you can see axis here. Click on axis and alignment automatic make it up. So now you can see month wise the alignment came now if i come here mark if i put bar i can see uh, the same representation either in line diagram or the same representation i can see in the form of bar or column charts you can see like this different months are given these are the sales figures are given okay you can click here you can do right click here go to format fields go to fields what i want to see i want to change some sales pan font you can see font i changed color you can change the color Font row banding sheet row columns. Alignment font. You can change them. Go to color. Change the graph of this border. Okay, you can do these changes to make it look better. You can do all this work. Now, here, what I want. I wanted uh, the bar chart or I wanted the, the column chart for the different months for the 48 uh, time periods. Total four years are there, right? Four years every month I wanted. What I, I wanted, I got those values. Now, if you, if you want, you can see them in the presentation mode. This looks perfect. Okay. If you want, you can save this work. Go to data source. Click on extract, then come to line and chart. You can save the file. File, go to save as, okay, change, save as type dot ebwx, okay, change that and click. Once you're done with this, then if you click on share mode, okay, here the path should be http dot public dot tableau dot com slash s slash s. You can do that. Click on connect. So by default, your data will save in Tableau public. Okay. If you don't have an account in Tableau public, you need to create an account in Tableau public. And by default, your data will save there. Once you create an account, you will get around 10 GB of space. So whatever work you are doing on Tableau, parallelly, you can save in the Tableau public and the work will be done for you.
so once you are done with this you can understand the objective of this class is to compare line chart with the column chart right so till now i have just made column chart i have shown you how to draw the line chart but i want to put them together okay still now i have not put them together so now what i can do uh, just drag the profit okay just drag the profit here and then you you get the parallelly uh, sales and profit comparison for all these time period you get the comparison of the sales and profit now i wanted to bring them together okay how i can bring sales and profit together what you can do just click on the profit sum of the profit click on dual axis so if you click on dual axis you can see both of them together uh, where uh, one one bar graph is under the another bar graph okay what you can do uh, you can go to sum of the profit you can go inside sum of the profit go to size of this click on manual and you can reduce the size of the profit okay to put one bar graph under another bar graph you can change it color okay you can do that or if you want what you can do put the profit in the form of line okay put the profit in the form of line so you have profit as a secondary uh, vertical axis you have sales as a primary vertical axis okay and what else you can do some of the sales if i remove from here okay yeah so you can see you can see you have the values here you have all these values you can see them under the marks you have sum of sales you have sum of the sum of sales you have the sum of profit okay you have measures names okay what are the measure names you can do that levels it path so if you click on level you can see the level value right so mark level sum of sales if i go to level so mark level now there is no mark level you can see but this this profit is not visible properly profit is not visible properly so what i can do i'll go to the sum of profit i'll go to change i'll color change the color of this this looks better maybe i want to i want the levels of profit visible so click on mark level drag the profit under level so you can see the mark level of profit here fine everyone anyone any doubt so uh, like what what i want if i want uh, i can make the level of sales visible i can drag sales under the levels so i can see all the levels of sales if i don't want the level of sales visible i just remove it okay i if i want the level of profit visible i'll just drag it here so i can see all the profit levels visible if i don't want i can remove them here so here you can make a comparison this is a line chart versus column chart where your column chart representing the sales while your line chart representing the profit you can put profit first then sales your diagram will look, look like this okay your diagram will look like this color of this if i change edit color you want something very dark so or you can drag sales above profit so you can see the difference between them see the difference among between them so sales then profit see the difference then profit and then sales see the difference so like profit when i say profit then sales 
you can see profit is superimposing over sales. And if I put sales above profit, now profit gone only. So I put profit here, then I'll put profit in dual axis here. Okay. Then I click on sum of profit. I change to line, line graph. So you can see the comparison. So profit over sales and and sales over profit. You can see on the basis of months. So this all help in the comparison. Whenever we are comparing them, the analysis will become much more relevant here. Okay, you don't want together. You want dual axis. You don't want dual axis. It's up to you the way you want to make analysis. You can make analysis depending upon that. So here where your sales is represented in column diagram like this, profit represent in the line diagram like this. Okay, so it's all up to you. The way you want to do analysis, you can do analysis in that way. Fine, everyone. I hope you have understood this. This was the objective of this class. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you all in next class. Bye, everyone.